Hey y'all, so today is not gonna be a makeup look. You know, I'm always doing the makeup. This tutorial is all about my hair. So if you wanna see how I got this done, just sit tight and I'm gonna show you how I did everything from beginning to end, okay? Gotcha. Okay, so the first step basically um, to do is to bleach your hair. Now my hair was a little bit, um, it was bleached already, but when I cut off the relaxed ends, I had um, a little bit of the bleach on the tips, but not a lot. So it was like brown and bold tips, black roots. I bleached my hair. I used some Kaleidoscope's um, bleaching powder in the blue. And then I used Clariel, Clariel's um, Volume 30. Mixed that up or whatever, and I applied it all over my head. Um, I let it sit on my head, I think, for about... 10 minutes with heat um water once the water touches your um your bleach like your formula basically when you're watching it out the sink it stops everything so i guess the sweat from when i was blow drying it it was like stopping my edges from bleaching so i had took the um plastic off and i went ahead and um added some more on my edges and I left the cap off just to let it settle a little bit on the edges so that could turn too. And then after that, what you want to do is you want to wash that out with some... I use Shimmer Light Shampoo. It's for bronze and silver. It's to keep the brassiness out. So it helps tone your hair too when bleaching. I, I toned my hair with Wella's color T14. And that's Pale Ash Blonde. You basically use one part of that and two parts of 20 volume um developer they suggest that i don't have 20 so i use 30 i always do i don't have any problems i'm not telling you you should do it i'm just telling you that's what i do so i did it the first time and like a patch around here came out very good but the rest of it had still a little bit of gold um tint to it so i actually did it again i did it the first time for a half hour and it didn't come out to my liking so I did it again and I left it on for about 10 minutes the second time. I didn't record me doing it the second time because it's the same process the first time. I just rinsed it out with water. I didn't um, put conditioner in for this process because when I added in the color, all of this, basically I used conditioner with that. I used my Cantu Shea Butter um, hydrating cream conditioner the brand of color that i'm using is going to be adore and for the blue color is actually baby blue 172 and then for the purple that's going to be in violet gem in the color 114. Um, so basically i was just mixing the conditioner with the colors to my desired look or whatever and just applying it initially i was going to use blue only but i eventually added in the purple so basically, um, I was like, how am I going to get this blue to blend into the blonde without it looking green or crazy? Like it was just super unnatural. So I decided to add some pink. I thought, well, purple. It looks pink because of the conditioner. I thought that maybe the pink tones would make it look a little more better trying to transition into the blind, blonde. But um, I just got crazy with the color and added more than I intended to. But anyways, what I'm going to be doing is actually trying to blend that pink down into the blonde because I don't want the pink to come all the way down. So I'm going to be pinching it a little bit just to get a little bit on the blonde near my ear area and stuff like that. Now the back, you can see like, you know, the lines or whatever, but I didn't want it to be that way in the front, like just to stretch all the way through. So I went in later and added some of the pink to the blue. So I can have some definition of blues up in there so it's just not like a straight line in between colors or whatever. So once I applied the colors to my head, um, I put a plastic bag on it. I don't use, you know, shower cap, whatever, plastic bag, whatever. It's all the same thing. <laughs> so I put a plastic bag on my head and I let it sit for about two hours. Um, I went to make something to eat and all that stuff. I applied some heat to it for about 10 minutes. And then for about the rest of the time, I just was chilling or whatever. So when I washed it out, I again used a little bit of the Shimmer Lights um, shampoo just to make sure I had it out. It says that you should shampoo it. So I shampooed it out and then added a little more conditioner. 
And that was basically it. And this is how my hair came out. Now, um, for styling, I didn't do much. I just put a small part right here. And then I wet, my hair was already wet from washing it. So I just put a little bit of eco styling gel in it and just combed through it so the curls could form. And then I brushed these sides down and um, put a little satin wrap on it until I finished my face and that was it. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I'm always changing my hair and everybody's always asking me questions. How did I do it? So that was my first hair tutorial. So I'm going to try to stop posting more of these hair looks for you guys. Um, makeup definitely. I'm going to keep it coming. But you know what? Regardless who comes or not, I'm going to do a tutorial on this look because I think it's popping. I think it looks popping and it's worth a video. What you think? Anyways. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And peace. I'm done.